Welcome to ECLMU Learning Simplified and welcome to this lesson. In the previous lesson, we discussed simple electromagnets where we defined electromagnets as a temporary magnet which is produced when a soft magnetic material like a soft ion core is inserted inside a solenoid carrying current where it will get magnetized and one end will become north pole and the other end will become south pole. Then we looked at a rule which we can use to determine the north pole and south pole of this temporary magnet, which we call the framing is right hand rule, which states that if you grasp a coil or a solenoid carrying current with your right hand, such that your fingers point in the direction of flow of current, then the thumb will automatically point to the north pole of the magnet which is being produced. Now in this lesson, we are going to handle some problems involving electromagnets. Here, we are going to determine the north pole and south pole of um, an electromagnet which is going to be produced. And then later, we will discuss how to increase the strength of this electromagnet. My name is Albert. I hope you will enjoy this lesson. By the end of this lesson, I expect you to be able to solve problems involving electromagnetism. So the first question reads, in the setup, the suspended meter roll is in equilibrium balanced by a magnet and the weight as shown. The iron core is fixed to the bench. So as you can see, we have some weight here. Then we have some iron core fixed and it has a solenoid around it. Then we have a permanent magnet on top here with the south pole and north pole. And then we have a meter roll. Then now the first question reads, state and explain the effect on the meter roll when the switch K is closed. Then the second question, what will be the effect of reversing the battery terminal. So for us to state and explain the effect on the meter roll when the switch is closed, then now we have to examine what happens when the switch is closed. So if you switch this switch uh, or you put it on, what will happen? This battery, the, the circuit will be complete and then current will flow in this circuit. So we said current flows from the positive terminal to the negative terminal through the wire. So here, current will be flowing like this. So it will be flowing in this wire to the right into the solenoid. And then here at the beginning, it will flow behind to the right. And then in front, it will flow like that. So if you complete this circuit like this, then it's going to help you to determine the poles of the electromagnet, which is produced when current flows through this soft iron core. So in this case, for us to determine the poles which are produced on this soft iron core inside this solenoid, then we will use Fleming's right hand grip rule, which says that if you grasp a solenoid carrying current with your right hand, say that the finger encycles all moves in the direction of current, then the thumb will point in the direction of the North Pole. So here, if you grasp with your right hand, you will realize that the fingers in front will be pointing to the left side of the screen. Therefore, the thumb will be pointing down. So in this case, the bottom part here will be North Pole. Then up here, it will be South Pole. Now we will have a magnet with a North Pole or an electromagnet with a North Pole and a South Pole like this. And in this case, this North Pole of the permanent magnet this is a permanent magnet will be close to this south pole of this temporary magnet which is produced. Now for us to answer the first question here, state and explain the effect on the meter roll uh, when the switch case is closed, what we will state and explain here is that the magnet will be attracted because this is north pole and south pole. And from the law of magnetism, we said unlike poles attract. So here we have unlike poles. So the magnet will be attracted to the iron core causing the meter rule to tilt towards the core. So this meter rule now will tilt downwards towards this iron core. So that is the observation. And this weight will be uh, lifted up because now you have changed 
the equilibrium. In this case, the anticlockwise moments are more than the clockwise moments. So the reason for this is that when the switch is closed, uh, or when the switch K is closed, the ion core become magnetized. This ion core, which is inside the solenoid, will become magnetized, and it will have south pole close to the permanent magnet, and in this case, attraction occurs because unlike poles attract. Now, another question now is asking, what will be the effect of reversing the battery terminals? If you reverse the battery terminals, then it means now current will be flowing in opposite direction. So when current flows in opposite direction, the flow of current on this solenoid now will change in the, in the opposite direction. And if you grasp it with your fingers, will be pointing to the uh, right hand side of the screen. Therefore, the thumb will be pointing up. If the thumb will point up after reversing the, the terminals, therefore this upper part will become north pole, and this north pole will be close to the north pole of the permanent magnet. And from the law of magnetism, we say like poles repel. So in this case, the north pole and north pole will repel. Therefore, the, there will be a repansion. That's what will be observed. So the second question, a permanent magnet was suspended next to a solenoid in which an electric current was flowing as shown below. So here we have a permanent magnet. This is a permanent magnet which is suspended close to a solenoid which has a soft iron core. In this case we are making an electromagnet or a temporary magnet. Then in this uh, solenoid, we also have a battery with a positive and negative, and then we have a switch. Now the question is asking, state and explain the observation made in this setup when the switch was closed. So if you close the switch, for you to make an observation first, you have to identify the direction of current in the solenoid. This case in front here, current is moving up then it will be moving up like that. In front, current is moving up. So you have to indicate like that for you to make a complete observation. Then after this, what you will do, you will determine the polarities of A and B, and you will use Fleming's right hand grip rule for a solenoid carrying current, which states that if you grasp uh, a solenoid carrying current with your right hand, say that the, the fingers a uh, point in the direction of flow of current, then your thumb will point to the direction of north pole. In this case, if you hold or you grasp this solenoid with your right hand, the fingers in front will be pointing up and behind they will be pointing down. And the thumb now will be pointing to the uh, close to the magnet or to close to the permanent magnet, that is to the left hand side of this screen. Therefore, in this case, the north pole will be point A, point A will attain north pole, then point B will attain South Pole. Now from here you can make an observation. What do you think will be observed? If in this case North Pole of the magnet is close to the North Pole of the electromagnet, those are like poles and from the principle of magnetism or the law of magnetism, it states that like poles, that is North Pole and North Pole and South Pole and South Pole, repels while unlike poles attract. So in this case, we have like poles. Therefore, the observation that will be made that there will be a repansion. Repansion will take place. Now, the reason why repansion takes place is because when the current flow, you will can explain by saying, when the current flow through the solenoid, solenoid point a attains same polarity, same polarity like that close to it from the permanent magnet. Now that is the explanation. When the current flows through the solenoid, Point A, which is close to the magnet, will attain same polarity like the point or from like the side which is close from the permanent magnet, that's North Pole. And in this case, the repansion will take place.
The third question, a small electromagnet for lifting and releasing a small steel ball is made in the laboratory as shown below. So here we have, or we are making a small steel ball. Here we have a soft ion, soft ion core. Then we have a steel ball, steel ball. Then now we have a battery here, which has a positive and negative terminal. Then we have a switch. Then the first question is, state the observations made. In this case, for you to state the observation, then you have to complete this circuit in a way that you would show the direction of current. In this case, current flows from the positive terminal to the negative terminal. Then in front here, current will be flowing like that. So if current will be flowing from the right to the left of the screen, therefore, if you use Fleming's right hand grip rule for a solenoid carrying current, you will realize this point below here will become North Pole and this is South Pole. Now, this since this is still is a magnetic material and this uh, soft ion core has attained magnetism, then it will attract the steel ball. So here what will happen is that the steel ball, the steel ball will be attracted. That is the observation because steel ball is a magnetic material and the soft iron core will attain magnetism. So it, if it becomes North Pole, it will attract the steel ball. Then explain why soft iron is better material to be used for the core than steel. Why do we use soft iron as the core in this case? The reason why we use soft iron is because one, soft iron is easily magnetized. It is easily magnetized. That is why we use it because we can even use a very small amount of current. Two, the reason why we use steel or soft iron instead of steel is because it forms it forms a very strong a very strong magnet under the same condition under the same condition same condition in this case we mean we have only one battery so if you use the steel it can get magnetized but it will take long to be magnetized and then it will form a very weak magnet because one battery cannot supply enough electrical energy to make it a strong magnet but soft iron forms a very strong magnet under this condition that's why we prefer it over steel so that will mark the end of our lesson today in the next lesson we will discuss factors affecting the strength of an electromagnet